I was in Little the other day and I found this. A box of six classic English beers, or British beers, sorry. And the next beer on the list. From my, hang on, my classic beer, Ales from Britain. Boy, Little. This one is called Bombardier. Doesn't that just evoke all those wartime depravities? The Blitz, Churchill, not the insurance dog. Bomber Harris and Spitfires. It even comes with a Union Jack cap. Let's get Brexit done. Now, some of you might think I'm being anti-British, but this here has become a symbol for me of the rights that I've lost and the freedoms that I've lost because a quarter of the country was so stupid to vote to leave the European Union. I can't begin to tell you how angry that makes me at times. So on with the other part of the video. On the website from the Eagle Brewery, a bottle stands there, deprived of its Union flag cap, and only 4.7% an Ambi beer, not a premium British beer, with 5.2%. I can also buy merch. Ooh, some of it's quite nice actually. A cross neck hoodie in size XXL, please. The Eagle Brewery, owned by Marston's of course, surprise, surprise, also produce a banana bread beer, a sticky toffee pudding beer. What's going on here? I can relate to the honey beer called Waggle Dance. But that's about it. The Eagle Brewery doesn't move cautiously, but embraces different perspectives and soars like a fearless eagle. Eagles have been associated with the town of Bedford, which is where the Eagle Brewery is situated, for centuries apparently. And because it's unique, their eagle looks to the left. Ah, now I get it. Of course, the German Eagle of World War II fame, that one looked to the right. Oh, but moment. To the left also. To be honest, this beer is getting too jingoistic for me. I think I can go back in the fridge and I'll decide what to do with it later. Well, it's taken me a week, but I've decided what to do with it. And it's probably going to end up in the bin. And I'll tell you why. I went for a walk. I went for a walk shortly afterwards and loads of things just come up in my head so I'm going to put that on there but I'm going to I've got something else to say as well normally I can keep a hat on it but this beer actually has just sent me off the rails again and for all those people that say yeah well you lost get over it no I didn't lose I applied for a paper uh, postal vote and I didn't get it nobody sent it to me so I couldn't vote we try to stay away from Brexit, to be honest, because it's, it's a subject that makes me really sad. I know Keir Starmer is a plastic blow-up doll. Can't say as I'm very impressed with him, but you just have to get these Tories out. And it lies in your hands. All those people that don't normally vote need to get out. Tories have made it difficult for you to vote anyway with having a photo ID. And if that's not a if that's not an alarm call, I don't know what is. All those pensioners. I think they'll end up voting, voting for Tories again. How much help do you think they're gonna get from the pensioners think they're gonna get from the Tories? This trust has already ruled it ruled out. Handouts, which will make make life easier for businesses and especially big business. Where do you think all these politicians are gonna go when they are finished? in Parliament. We're going to go to all these companies that they're backing up now. When are you people going to see through it? My life, as far as I'm concerned, has been messed up completely. I'm lucky that I've been able to come to Germany and I can then move around in Europe freely. But I don't have as many rights as Polish people, for instance, or Romanians. I mean, what is wrong with you people? Have you even looked at those people? Those, what's like a Liz Trust and fucking Richie Sunak. If that's not a race to the bottom, I don't know what is. 
I can outdo you and I can outdo you. I'll make what are you going to do when you get to winter and your field bills go up yet again and you can't pay them and you get a two percent you get a two percent pay rise. What are you going to do then? Vote Tory? Because you might get rich. You won't get rich. Forget it. And there's no need to be rich. Be happy. And it's no good thinking, oh, well, if I vote for Tory, I'll maybe get as rich as Rishi, Rishi bloody Sunak. You won't. Those people are there to stop you getting rich. They're there to keep you poor and keep you under the thumb. So now, what to do with this beer? Well, I've thought about it for a week and I did buy them to taste them all and I think I'm going to taste it. So here goes anyway. So I'm going to open it up and see what happens. And it's disgusting. Oh God, no. It was always going to get a zero anyway. <laughs>